Tanashe na inaitwa Kenya toka Y254. So nina swali kwako huu siku wa leo ambao kesho utakuwa unazindua album yako yako. Kitu kipi kiko akilini mwako na pia unajihisi vipi sasa hivi? Sorry siku wa leo ambao kesho utakuwa unazindua album EP yako yako sio? Kitu kipi kiko akilini unajihisi vipi? Kitu kipi kiko akilini mwako sasa hivi na pia unajihisi vipi? baadhi changamoto ambazo umepitia wakati ulikuwa unaandaa hii EP yako yako ni kama zipi ambazo unaweza kuzitaja? Changamoto. Na ambazo ulipitia. Challenge. Challenge mingi to improve vocal sound. Those were one of the challenges. Um who are confident? I feel like confidence is important sana so kutaka kufanya kitu kama hiki. So yes, uh, to build my inner confidence. Um apart from that challenges in create hits and when I'm around people who create hits, you know. And uh, I pray that this songs in my ears are who are hits. But these are the big challenges, not just making music but creating a hit. Yeah. Yeah, really quite challenging. Kabisa acha nije kwa bwana Diamond Platinum eh wakati Tanasha anakupa ujumbe kwamba anataka kuachia EP yako yake na kwamba anaandaa EP kitu kipi kilikuja kilinikuwa kuna ulichukulia vipi uh, 
kushauri kufanya kitu kicho kwa bora kwa sababu kama uh, utakufanya mziki na maana malengo na kitu kila kitu utakufanya utaka ufanikiwe kwa ushauri kwa bora ambao unaweza kumsaidia kumfanikisha pale mtoto wake ambao atakufika so katika nyimbo zote ambazo kwenye EP ulihusika katika kutoka nyimbo ya kwanza mpaka nyimbo ya mwisho katika the whole recording process ama alikuwa anizifanya mwenyewe kila kitu nafanya mwenyewe na mtu ambaye amemshirikisha kwenye nyimbo sikikuta kuna kitu kidogo tu pengine naisi naweza kuchangia jambo naweza kushauri tu baba hapo kifanye hivi tutakuwa poa zaidi lakini afadhali kitu mwenyewe nzuri naweza kuandika mwenyewe akorange muziki pia mwenyewe so kwa ushauri mdogo tu ambao sometimes ukisi kuna kitu kidogo yeah. Okay, Tanasha. Kwanza hongera sana kwa eh, launch eh, kwa kwa mwao kwamba utakuwa na launch eh, EP. Eh, swali ni kwamba muda mwingi unapata kwamba wasanii wengi inawa take time wanafanya singles, singles nyingi sana ndio wakuja kuamua kwamba wanaachia EP au album. Eh, mtu yote ambaye sasa hivi anahisi kwamba Tanasha amearakisha sana amekurupuka katika kufanya EP. Tumwambia nini? I've been doing for time, but I didn't take it as seriously Kutoka last year. Yeah. Uh, did it release radio? And then, not easy, but I wanna, okay. I was not, the songs were okay, but see poor content, so I was like, I need to prove myself yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. And the only way I can prove myself is the Kitoka and project, yeah. like the EP, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was more of proving myself in the industry, because when I went to they were like, mm, can she do it? Can she know it? Does she have it? Does she not? Yeah. So this is me trying to prove myself in yeah. the industry, not only to other people, but to myself as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, most of the people maybe think that uh, umeamua ku venture sana katika muziki na kuacha mambo mengine kwa sababu you have close people ambao uko nao usiana nao ama wako karibu nao wanakuwa ni wa WCB unaepi kusema kuhusu hilo um naweza kusema the same quest the same answer i gave you before i released my first songs about three years ago at a club i met uh, diamond and his team and obviously nikiwa around musicians and you're passionate about music it it even drives you more to fun you know get even more inspiration like yo i can i can perfect what i was already trying to do yeah so yeah yeah koko platinum za um wewe mbali na kuwa kwamba ni mtu wake wa karibu kama msanii mchango wake eh, mchango wake kwa tanasha katika kariya yake kwenye EP launch hii itakutakuwa ni upi uh, apart from kuwa kuna nyimbo ameshirikisha lakini pia kumpa ushauri mzuri wa kibiashara mziki za muziki sio kuimba sisi kama ndio msimu wa muziki kufanya kwa biashara ndio kama unawezaje kutengeneza hela kupitia muziki na hela utaipata usaidie watu wengine tofauti tofauti ili uweze kuashika mikono vijana wengi mtaani na mafanikio yako wakawa sifa kwa nchi mafanikio yako kwa sifa kwa vijana wengine ukaweza kusaidia watu so mwalimu kikana na mwambia kuhusu biashara za muziki hela zinapatikana hivi unatakiwa ufanye hivi nchi usikubali nchi hivi mtu akikwambia for free kata mwambie nataka nilipe au mwambie nilipe Yeah, <laughs> Okay, uh, Ni mtu ambaye ana ubunifu anaweza kaimba melodi zake mwenyewe 
uh, unaweza ukamwambia kitu yake kiongezea nyama nyama zake yani akikimbizia udangu zaidi kikawa kizuri anatengeneza anaandaa anaandika meza anasema anaunda melodi zake wewe tayari ana msikio wake so kama kuna mtu anafikiria kitu tofauti na hicho na bila fahamu bibi ana talent ya aina sana okay kuna jadi hapa kuna RJ pia hapa fadhali mzee uh, now questions ndio yeah. sasa tuzoze ndio ndio sio swali la mwisho tu kwa swali iende kwa Jacqueline RJ alafu tumalize ni kija kwa kwa Walter swali ambalo nimependa kuuliza sasa hivi na kuona wewe ni mmoja wa watu ambao karibu sana na international na WCD tutarejea katika hii tu itakuwa msiwa kwa njia yote hii Uh, sasa hivi na kuna ni mtu wa karibu sana na watu wa WCB vile vile na Tanasha. Na tunafahamu kwamba kitu ambacho kimekuleta Kenya ni kuhusu ita launch ya EP ya Tanasha. Kitarajiwa utakuwa msio kwa njia moja au nyingine katika maybe video ama katika the whole process ya kuandaa EP. Okay, asante. Actually sio ni kwa karibu sasa RJ pengine utakuwa e, umehusika kwenye ngoma yoyote ya Tanasha kwa sababu tumeona umekuwa ukifanya projects ambapo unahusika kwenye ngoma kadha wa kadha pengine kwenye EP utakuwepo Ah um, <laughs> 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 